by Bill Bird. Belfour out of the net. Knocked down. Now he takes a swipe at Osborne, and Belfour has just jumped Mark Osborne. Marchman's there. Now everybody gets involved. Came out of his net to play the puck. Looked very innocent. Seemed that he got a bit of a bump from Osborne, and then he went right after him. And he's still after him. Well, the crowd here are chanting for Eddie. The lines would like Eddie to do is settle down. He's on fire, and you can see who he's on fire against. Osborne is still within shouting range of Belfort. Perhaps Brian Burke, who held a hearing here this afternoon, should have stayed for the game. What's Eddie going to get out of this one? Should Hackett be warming up on the bench? 14 seconds left in the second period. Toronto's up by two goals. Former Islander, Sharp, Jeff Hackett. Belfour likes to come out of his net and play the puck. He did, and when he got to the corner, Mark Osborne was there as well. And it looked like Belfour was knocked off balance by Osborne. Then he got mad and attacked him. There goes Eddie for the long skate all the way down. Right past Felix Potvin. Into the Hawks dressing room. Third man, I bet. I think everybody's going to leave, and Terry Gregson will just tack the remaining 14 seconds onto the third period. That's a why it's moved because the bookwork here will take a while. That's exactly what Gregson is telling the teams right now. The Leafs, they're first. Go to the dressing rooms. Here again, the incident that ends the second period. Innocent enough so far. Ozzy got the stick up between Belfour's oh, yes. legs, and Belfour turned around, gave him a crack with the stick. Let's take a look at it again from this angle. Watch Osborne's stick. And watch Belfour's stick. Now the Eagle gets up and goes right after him. I don't think Belfour had his gloves off either. He was trying to punch Osborne with them on. He's still got that blocker and catcher's mitt on. 